Welcome back to the Custom NPCs tutorial series. In this episode, we will be going over the AI tab. The AI tab is what changes the NPC's behavior. These settings all change how it reacts to certain situations. On found enemy is where we change how the NPC reacts when it is aggroed. Again, an NPC is aggroed when an entity that they consider hostile enters their aggro range. They can also be aggroed when a player hits them. Setting it to retaliate makes them attack the enemy they find. Setting it to panic will make them run around like an animal when they are hit. They choose a random point and run to it, then choose another random point and run to it. Retreat makes them run away from the enemy. They will try to distance themselves rather than just choose random points. Setting it to nothing will make the NPC do nothing. They will stand still and take the attack. They are still considered to be aggroed, however. Door Interact is where we change how an NPC reacts to doors in their movement path. When disabled, the NPC will try to find a way around the door to get to their destination. When set to open, the NPC will open the door and close it behind them. When set to break, the NPC will start breaking down the door like a zombie. Can Swim is where we change how the NPC moves in water. When set to Yes, the NPC will swim in water like a player holding the jump button. When set to No, they will sink to the bottom. They can still float to get out of the water if their destination is outside, but when standing still, they will not float. Shelter From is where you can make the NPC try to avoid sunlight or darkness. This seems to be bugged because it works for the sunlight setting, but the NPC doesn't do anything in the darkness setting. If an enemy is in the NPC's aggro range, if must see target is set to yes, the NPC must be able to make direct line of sight with the enemy to be aggroed. If set to no, the NPC will be aggroed if the enemy is in range no matter what. For example, because must see target is set to yes, because this NPC cannot see the enemy, even though they are in aggro range, he is not aggro. But if must see target is set to no, even though this NPC is behind three layers of blocks, this NPC is still trying to attack him. Attack invisible toggles whether they will be aggroed by an entity that's invisible. Avoids water determines the path the NPC will take if they encounter water. When set to no, if going through water is the shortest path to their destination, they will swim through the water even if can swim is set to no. If set to yes, the NPC will attempt to walk around the water. If it is not possible for them to do so though, the NPC will still go through the water. Every NPC has a home. The default home is the block the NPC was created on, but it can be changed through commands. When return to start is set to yes, if the NPC finds themselves away from their home, they will try to walk back to it. If they cannot make it, eventually they will teleport to their home. This also causes the NPC to be teleported back to their home when they are edited with the wand or reset in the nearby NPC's menu. When set to no, the NPC will not return to their home when edited with the wand or reset in the nearby NPC's menu. Their stats, however, are still reset. Leap at target toggles whether the NPC will leap like a spider at the target they are attacking. Tactical variant changes how the NPC attacks their target. Rush is default and makes them just run towards their target. If set to none, the NPC will stand still and will only attack the target if they are close enough. I would like to explain the others, but they do not seem to function correctly and the mod creator has said he is considering removing them. Movement is where we change how the NPC moves. There are three different types of movement. We will go over standing first. When navigation is set to ground, the NPC will navigate the world normally. They'll have to avoid holes and will float like players in the water. When set to flying, the NPC floats in the air. They don't have to worry about holes or water. Swimming makes them float in the middle of water and swim exceptionally fast. It also makes them very bad at moving on the ground. Position Offset Coordinates have decimal points. 
the position offset is basically the decimal point of the block the NPC is standing on. The default offset is 5, 5, and 5, which is right in the middle of the coordinate or block. You can set their offset to be between 0 and 10. For example, if we set the offset of this NPC's X value to be 0, he has moved 5 decimal points to the left and is now standing on the very edge of the block. The offset is for adjusting the NPC's position slightly. I often use this for making NPCs lay in bed. When I create the NPC, the NPC lies right in the middle of the bottom part of the bed, but I want to move them so that they are lying in the bed normally. Moving them by a block is too much, so I adjust the offset to slightly move them into the right position. Animation is the pose the NPC is in. There are many different types of poses. Rotation is how the NPC rotates when standing. Body makes them randomly rotate their entire body. Manual makes them face one direction constantly. You set the degree you want them to face here. Stalking makes them follow nearby players with their body. And head is like manual but allows their head to randomly rotate. When stop on interact is set to yes, if the NPC is right clicked they will turn and face the player. If the NPC is moving, like if they are trying to return to their home, they will also stop moving for a short while. When set to no, the NPC does not turn to look at whoever interacted with them and will not stop when right clicked. Move speed is how fast the NPC moves. The next movement type is wandering. This makes the NPC wander around to randomly chosen blocks around their home. The range is the maximum distance the NPC will wander away from their home. When interacts with NPCs is set to yes, the NPC will occasionally stop in front of NPCs and interact with them. When pauses is set to yes, the NPC will pause for a couple of seconds when they reach their coordinate before moving again. When set to no, the NPC will immediately start moving to the next coordinate. If return to start is set to no, the NPC will still only wander in the range from their home. If they are pushed outside of that range, they will go back to it. The last movement type is moving path. If you have defined a path with the pather tool, the NPC must be set to moving path to follow it. At movement, we change what the NPC does when they reach the end of their path. Looping will make them take the most direct path to their starting point in order to start the path again. Backtracking will make them navigate the path again but in reverse order. And that is every feature of the AI tab. In the next episode we will be going over the inventory tab. Thank you for watching.